Disclaimer This video is an imagination written by author's perspective. It has nothing to do with real life. It's only for entertainment purpose. I own the storyline and narration. So please don't copy and repost my work. Thank you. He is sleeping peacefully beside you. He came home late last night. He always come late and left early. He is so busy in his work. He don't give you enough time and attention. You both started your relationship with friendship and slowly slowly you both developed feelings for each other and one day you both confessed it and started a relationship like a married couple. You both were so happy but from last two months he is behaving different. He is not giving you attention and time and always try to avoid you and from last one month he is coming late from his office. You are thinking about his behavior from last few months and your eyes became teary because of that. You are feeling so hurt but still you are not saying a single word. Vyan, I prepared your favorite food last night for dinner and I thought I'll spend time with you but your endless meetings and work. Then you got up from bed and went towards bathroom to do your morning routine. Time skip. Vine, good morning love, smile, Teong. Morning, he said coldly which broke your heart in million pieces. Vine, what happened, Teong? Teong, I'm getting late for my office, so please stop asking me stupid questions. Go and prepare something for my breakfast, he said and went inside the bathroom. Vine, what's wrong with him? Confused. You are so confused because of his behavior. You looked at the time and it's just 7 a.m. And his office timing is 9 a.m. Then why he is going early? Then why he is going early in his office? He is doing this from many days. So today you decided to ask him about all this to clear everything. You come downstairs and started making breakfast for him. And after some time he also come downstairs after getting ready for his office. Tehong isn't breakfast ready yet, he said with visible anger in his voice. Vyan, Tehong, just give me 10 minutes. It's almost ready. Just wait. He said in irritated voice and didn't even check you and ask you about your pain. He went towards dining table and started using his phone. He changed totally. 
now he don't even care for you. Your eyes became teary and you again started making breakfast without caring about yourself because this pain is not hurting you as much as his behavior is hurting you. You come towards dining area with breakfast and served him his breakfast and he started eating it without saying anything. You were just standing there and didn't eat but still he didn't ask you anything. After eating his breakfast, he left for his office without saying anything. He don't even give you goodbye kiss. You don't know what's wrong with him, why he is behaving like this. He is hurting you like this. You don't know what to do, so you decided to meet your best friend Rhea. Only she can help you now. You feel so comfortable with her, so you decided to call her. You called her and she picked your call quickly. OTP, Rhea, hello Vyan, she said excitedly. OTP, Vyan, hello Rhea, how are you? Rhea, I'm fine girl, what about you? Vyan, I'm also fine. By the way, Rhea, are you free today? OTP, Rhea, yes, I'm free today. Vyan, so can we meet? Rhea, yeah, sure. But Vyan, is everything alright? OTP, Vyan, yes, everything is fine. Don't worry. I'm just coming in few minutes at your place. Rhea, okay. Then you cut the call and get ready and left for her house to meet her. Time skip. You reached at her house and pressed the doorbell and after few seconds she opened the door. You both hugged each other and then you entered inside. You both started talking about random stuff and enjoy your coffee together. Then you decided to talk about main thing about your main problem. You told her that how Tehong is ignoring you and how his behavior changed in this two months. He is not giving you time and attention and you also told her about today's morning behavior. Rhea, you should talk to him about this and solve this. Vyan, I am also thinking the same. I think I should prepare something special in dinner and then I'll talk to him and ask him about his problem. Then you both discussed about it and after some time you left from there and come back home. Time skip. It's dinner time so you decided to make his favorite dish for dinner. You started preparing dinner for him. After preparing dinner for him, now you are waiting for him. Then you decided to call him and ask him when he is coming home. You dialed his phone number and he picked your call. OTP, Vyan, hello, Taeyong, hmm, say. OTP, Vyan, when you are coming home, Taeyong, I will be late. So don't wait for me. Eat your dinner and sleep. Bye. You pack the food and get ready and left for his office to give him dinner. Time skip. 